they they call that guy Georgie. They're like, oh, Georgie's flying this one. Like, you know, da da da. I'm like, who's fucking Georgie? You know? Right. <laughs> He's the one and only Jay Gordon. Everybody. Hey, how's it going, guys? How's it going, Jay? I'm good. How are you? Good. Doing good. <laughs> Uh, happy 2023, which still feels a little strange to say. I'm still in 2022. How's the year going so far for you, Jay? <laughs> cool. Uh, it's been a little rainy and stuff here in uh, Cali sunny California, but uh, yeah, it's been crazy. But, uh, you know, everything's good. Yeah, I've been following the weather all around the world, and, and you guys seem to be getting at the worst. So Yeah, I'm crazy. What, what is essentially happening? There's just like too much water, but y'all can't collect it or what's. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really weird. Like, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, they, ne they're never ready for the rain here, you know, and like, so all the streets just start flooding and stuff when it gets, you know, rainy and stuff and people don't know how to drive in it. So it's just like, Oh it's yeah. That's how all the videos that I'm seeing is all, it's just roads turning into rivers. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I guess it's yeah. time to invest in a kayak. I I'm not sure. Is that what <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <Definitely. laughs> We're glad you are here. So uh, we kind of wanted to start by asking you, Jay, about your fandoms growing up. What were some of your favorite fandoms, whether it's movies or video games? What were you into? Uh, I definitely was into video games, you know, like just video games, you know. Back in my day, it was like, you know, I don't know, just you have to go to an arcade to do that, you know, and then... And then, like, in television and all those kind of consoles came out, and I was all over that shit. So, but, yeah, I love video games, you know. My kids love this shit, too, so. Now, are you Runs competitive the against your kids? Like, are, are you the type of dad that's like, I'll let you in because you're my kids? Or do you oh, still like Mercy, no. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they they do their own thing. They don't they don't they don't consult with me on any of this shit. Like they just they just do their own thing. Yeah, that's you know? fair. I actually uh, I'm actually a college teacher at uh, Full Sail University, and I teach about video games. Um, uh, so it's it's always it's always great to uh, hear. You get, you get to uh, teach that. that that's I a do. sick I get to teach about the, the business of video games and how to how to have a career in the industry. And speaking of careers in the industry, you actually um you got you got the voice uh a couple of video games how did how did that happen uh i don't that that's that's not me so i don't even you know i, I don't know why that's on my imdb or whatever uh but that's definitely not me i feel like we should maybe for a second pretend that it is no, <laughs> I, I love that that's like part of your like Wikipedia and IMDb. So is that something that people asking or just have to ultimately debunk it all the time? Yeah, I, I just, you know, not a lot of people ask me that. So, uh, you know, like I've, I've, um, I wasn't sure how to go about getting some of that stuff off. Like, are you, are you talking about like the Spider Man video game and all that kind of? It says, yeah, like, that's all over, all over the internet. You know what they say? Don't believe yeah. everything on the internet, right? Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I, I I haven't done any voice stuff for any video games. Um, if you, if you not could, that I'd be though, if you could, are there any are there any characters are there any games you would like to work with work in? I mean, there's I mean, uh, you know, I would do it for fun. Uh, but uh, I, I've definitely I've definitely put music on some video games for sure. And um, um, but I don't even think I'm allowed to say which one. Well, well, there's 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 one coming up. So I just. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm gonna leave the video game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, be careful. Though. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some music coming out uh, this this year for sure on some video games. So we'll see. That's so that's so epic. Uh, okay, so you were talking about definitely haven't done any voice stuff though. But you know, on that, like you know, talking as one of the characters or anything. I, I'd like to do that though. So you should teach me how to do that since you're the I, teacher. We know we know so many people. Yeah. yeah, we 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 know yeah. some we know some guys. I feel like the the new big thing though is like these motion captures. Like you know, I I I'm in my brain mostly related to Avatar, but obviously they do it for all of these, you know, first person shooter games or anything from like Red Dead Two and all that stuff. Jay, do you play any sure. of like those types of games, or do you perform more like old school Nintendo stuff? Uh, no, I, you know, my kids play like, uh, what's that game they play all the time? It's, it's really cool. I've, I've played it with them a bunch. Uh, wait, what's the game you play? Uh, it's, is it Fortnite or 
Fortnite or the card game? Well, yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite or this this great card game they play. You know, of course, Fortnite's like huge. You know, so it, it, how are your Fortnite dances? I was gonna say how. Yeah, I was gonna say what dance. <laughs> yeah, I suck. I suck at that. <laughs> Same, not not for me, but uh, okay. Just yeah. to to pivot just a little bit. So, Candy Ass was the first album that I ever purchased. I I remember the day vividly, oh, and okay. um, I shouldn't say I. My mom took me, and she purchased it for me. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to say the name Orgy over and over again um, throughout my entire life yeah. because that's just so fun. Um, Sounds like were there your any mom. Other Oh, she's she's literally the best and most supportive mom through all of my music tastes and craziness and styles yeah, throughout the yeah. year. She's she's incredible. Uh, were there ever any other names that were considered or was it always Orgy? Uh, I mean, I'm sure there was. I, I don't even remember what they would be at the time. Uh you know, um, looking back on it, though, I almost wish we would have picked one because, you know, my kids got, you know, they, they gave me shit about that. They're just like, what, orgy? Like, what? Like, you know, yeah, kind of crazy. But uh, no, I mean, you know, it all worked out. But uh, um, yeah, I don't remember any of the other names that we were thinking of at the time, you know, it was just kind of like, uh, just kind of came about and that that's what we stuck with. So, yeah, yeah. Fair. especially, well, so especially like Google. Right, especially oh, yeah. on Google, right? Like, yeah, like, you have to make sure you hit you type the word band or music after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my son was pissed, he was so pissed off. Like, one day when you know, when he was like, I don't know, seven or something like that, he was like looking on the computer and he typed it in, and uh, he was just like, it was a disaster. But like, we recovered from it, you know, we're learning things, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, certain I've searched with my uh safe search off uh by accident you know a couple of times um, exactly. anyway. <laughs> yeah uh so uh, uh kid cadet was talking about um you know her, her parents being so supportive through all of her uh phases and looks uh but but your looks your your fashion sense um inspired so many people so growing up was there anybody who... her, her black t-shirt but like you know uh you know there it um, is. Was it was there what inspired you growing up? I mean, I always really liked uh, like fashion. You know what I mean? Like I was always into that for some reason. Um, you know, growing up in San Francisco, it's a pretty fashionable city. You know, good shopping. Um, and my aunts used to go shopping all the time, so I would pick it with them, and um, you know, go to all like downtown Union Square, shop everywhere. You know. But, uh, and then, you know, my dad was really into it when, when I was a kid. Um, he would fly me down to LA and we would get clothes made, the same clothes. I don't know what that was about, but he would, uh, you know, give me like cool leather jackets and stuff to match his, his leather jacket or, you know, suits and stuff like that. So it was fun though. That's wasn't awesome. so much fun, legitimately wasn't so much fun getting fitted at a young age when you're just standing there, like, you know, <laughs> like guys like, measuring you and shit you know but <laughs> you know the, the the final process was cool that's that's awesome that's always a good feeling but like as a kid i uh man, i never got that as a kid so that's awesome <laughs> yeah and i was gonna boiled, say there's nothing little. more there, there's nothing more classic than just a plain black t-shirt so you know yeah yeah, heck yeah. So uh, you were talking about new music coming out in uh, 2023. And if I recall correctly, I saw on your Instagram, is there a new lyric video coming out tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. The song's called Empty. And um, it's a cool track. You know, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's definitely like the least heavy of the songs that are coming out next. So, but it's cool. It's really cool. And okay. uh yeah, that's the one. For sure. <laughs> Friday the 13th. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Uh, fun trivia fact, just for anyone that cares about fun trivia facts. But if a month starts on a Sunday, it will have a Friday the 13th. So there we go. So we're, You're we're welcome. starting off 2023 with a bang. I know. It's yeah. great. So, uh, Jay, if you don't mind me asking, typically... What is your process when when creating? Do you hear a melody first? Do you hear lyrics, or does it really just depend on the day, the hour? 
it's generally comes from uh you know it's, it starts with music for most of the time with me um i do you know like with this empty song um you know we are, we already had the music the the hook when when they come fast then i think it's a good song like you know when it when it doesn't take much time to um come up with an idea and uh you know if you just get jump right in the booth and do like a scratch vocal so it's there so you so you don't forget it or whatever and um but yeah it generally starts with uh something i do on the computer and it's always been that way since the beginning so i just jump on the computer uh i, I love beats so i always mess with beats you know i do like a lot of uh everything from like hip-hop shit to like whatever but you know i, I just love good beats and um so I'll start it off with like a musical idea that way, you know, put some synth bass on it or something and then just kind of, you know, let the process begin that way. Maybe sometimes I'll put like a scratch guitar down or something or, um, you know, one of the guitar players will put something down. So Carl's do, the, do the lyrics always come before the music or do, does the, do you sometimes be like, oh man, I just came up with this fantastic sound? No, no. Generally, generally the music first and then the lyrics after that, you oh. know what I mean? Like I kind of create like a, like an idea, like a verse chorus kind of thing and, and kind of sit with that for a second. Then I'll come up with some lyrics for it. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I like that. a, a, a spin off question because, you know, we'll, we'll hear about different artists that'll be like in the most random of places and come up with the greatest songs of all time. What's been like <laughs> the weirdest place that you've ever written a song? the weirdest place uh, <laughs> shit uh I, everywhere I, I don't know like you know um airplane maybe like on an airplane <laughs> um definitely done that before. you know cool, so... cool ideas on an airplane you know if you're sitting there you know five hours on an airplane it's like you got to do something you know so so um, you can't sleep on planes jay that doesn't work for you what's that you can't sleep on airplane. If, if I'm not sleeping on an airplane, like I don't know what to do with myself. I can't but. sometimes now. Uh, uh, I didn't use. I used to hate flying. Like, ugh, like so much. Like I was like, I picked the wrong fucking business. You know, like say flying. Like you know what I mean. Like you're just not in control. And some other assholes. Like you know, who knows what that guy's on or what he's doing. And you know, you know, bit of a control freak like that. You know? Yeah. Like to, I like to, I like to, if if I'm you know going to put my life in someone's hands, I'd rather put it in my own. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, I'm 100%, I can't sleep on yeah. planes, man. I try. I but try. These guys, I just can't get comfortable. These guys, though, the one time I was on a plane with these guys, and they kind of they kind of took the fear of it away from, which was really cool because they they were both pilots on each side, and I'm happened to be sitting. They didn't even know each other really, and they start talk, they were talking right when I got in the plane to sit down, and I'm sandwiched in between these two guys, and they were just saying all this stuff about planes and stuff, and then. You know, I was like, so I take it you guys are both pilots. Like, you know, what are you doing here? Why didn't you fly? You know, because they were talking, they own planes and stuff like that. And um, they were telling me all this stuff about, like, they call the, uh, you know, you know, the um, the flight software that flies the plane for the pilots. They're, they they call that guy Georgie. They're like, oh, Georgie's flying this one. Like, you know, da, da, da. I'm like, who's fucking Georgie, you know? Right. <laughs> and, yeah. They were telling me about all this, this stuff. And they were like, you know, um, they're like, look. You don't have anything to worry about. And, and the guy was like, he took a napkin and stuck it out the window of the plane. He goes, oh, well, this one's pretty good. Usually they just fly right out and stuff. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, right? So I was kind of like, that's weird. And he's like, look, you don't have anything to worry about. He's like, uh, even somebody with like Hulk strength couldn't open one of those doors while the plane's flying. So you don't have to worry about that. And then they-, they, they, they Every movie just got like debunked. I know. Right? Exactly. So- and. Then, what they said that uh, what they said was uh, as long as you keep your seatbelt on when the when the seatbelt sign comes on you're cool. He goes, you know, like those two people that blew out the top of the airplane. I'm like, nope, didn't know about that. You know, <laughs> Not I think that's one of the, yeah, some, some, air, some airlines uh, was on, on a flight and uh, I guess two of these there's like little panels on on this you know on the white part of the plane or whatever, and I guess a couple of those blew off and people weren't. You know, people weren't fastened and the rest of them all lived except for the two people that blew out the top of the airplane i'm like oh good to know okay cool so oh. i don't know for that, that made me feel better that they're like you know even if the pilot sucks the the plane's gonna be able to land and blah blah blah, blah. so i'm like all right cool oh my God. So kind of always wear your seatbelt kids that's <laughs> i am never not wearing my seatbelt no same exactly. same 
Yeah. Exactly. I was going to say, when I think of flying, though, the scene that always from a movie that comes in my head is almost famous, right? Like, and oh, I'm always... Okay. <laughs> But, you know, the same thing, Jay, like someone once said to me, like uh, a pilot was like, oh, I never like turbulence. Who does? But they're like, oh, it's just like being on a bumpy road. You know, it is. It's nothing. It's really nothing. But in my head, I'm like Uh, holding on. I think it got (laughs) a time flying uh, to Texas. uh, We got caught in another plane's jet wash or something. And that was scary. So so the plane just went, boom. It was like, you know, like. I don't know how many feet, but like it was really fucking nuts. And uh, and the pilot was just like, "Hey, sorry about that. We're on, we're on, ready to land." <laughs> that the airport's crazy anyway. But um, that and Denver are like the worst ones to me. But uh, so we're flying into that, and um, I guess you got caught in a, a jet wash, whatever that, whatever that means. Yeah, you know, oh, the plane just, went, you know, <laughs> that's about that's about it. <laughs> And they're like, oh, sorry, I'm not sorry. Fantastic dreams tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, prior, prior to you coming on, um, Kit Cadet and I were, were chatting about uh, Broadway shows. She just went and saw uh, Beetlejuice. Uh, and I'm going to uh, New York um, in a couple months to see Back to the Future. Um, and so uh, we were talking about, again, some uh, movies that have been um, evolved into Broadway shows. Uh, and as you've done... Uh, several uh, you've been on several soundtracks for for things, but yeah. if there was a movie that was to be converted to a um, uh, a Broadway show that you could score, what's your favorite movie that you would like to see? Uh, you you know, put As in a Broadway score? show, maybe like uh, like Enter the Dragon, or maybe some James Bond shit or something, you know. Cool. But uh, probably some Bruce Lee shit would be cool. Like Enter the Dragon would be a good one. That'd be so funny. Like on Broadway. <laughs> I'd like to see someone doing like the kung fu, but also singing at the same oh, time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you, I'm not like really a fan of like musicals so much, but uh, it seems that people really love that shit. Like that last night, I drove by. Um, uh, whatever theater that is that has Mean Girls happening right now. That like. Mm-hmm. That's like huge. There were tons of people outside. I was like, "What the fuck?" It's so weird. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the, just, the new yeah. the new fad is um, uh, movies uh, yeah. being made into uh, musicals, and then Apparently, being made back into movies, which is what's happening with Mean Girls now is becoming a movie musical. Right. Oh man, oh, really? crazy! <laughs> yeah, it just, it just keeps going and going. Uh, so. I know speaking of, of flying because or, or driving or however you you do end up getting there I know uh, the sick new world music festival is happening uh, who are yeah. you most looking forward to reconnecting with I mean you know it's it's always good to see your homies but uh, there's some definitely some bands that I want to see on there um, uh, what was this talking about it last night I mean that turnstile bands really really good so I'm kind of excited about seeing them Um who else? Um, uh, you know, um, what are they called? Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a lineup. <laughs> um, you know, um, what's that band? What are they called? Uh, well, you know, obviously, you know, System and all those guys, I mean, they, they deserve to be where they're at and, you know, headlining this thing. Um, so I'm excited to see those guys and those are good friends and Chino and Abe from Deftones and, all those guys, um, it'll be good to see all of them, you know, really. Um, I was thinking about the, um, that band, um, God damn it. I was just listening to them yesterday. Um, what are they called? Um, it's on this list. Let me look, let me look on this list. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, like, Oh yeah. Part. I mean, box. Duh. I couldn't think of the names from, for a minute, but yeah, spirit box. I definitely want to see them. And uh, yeah. that should be cool. Yeah, they're they're Very incredible, cool. and I I feel like they're a band that like over the past couple of years is definitely like blowing up. And I've I've seen them playing so many festivals, and they deserve yeah. all the success coming their way. So incredibly talented. Yeah, that's awesome. I'd like to see Mr. Bungle. Never seen them live before. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is a neat, cool lineup. I I love it. I also have to say. 
because I'm really into graphic design since my husband's a graphic designer. I think the this poster is incredible as well. So anyway, there's that. Yeah. All right. right <laughs> Milo, go ahead. Take it away. Uh, <laughs> um, and, I mean, and then speaking of, of shows, so um, aside from your – uh, from your equipment, is there is there one thing that you need to have at your show, whether it's something sentimental, whether it's um, a good luck charm? Is there something that you need to have at the shows? Just my mic stand because uh, I, I the, the other ones will break. Yeah, you know, like I, I have to have my mic stand. That's that's your, that's it. Yeah, your ticket. That makes sense. Yeah. I will break the other ones. They're just too flimsy. And, you know, if you just like put up a bipod up there, I'll break it you know so i have like a custom one that just you know it's basic but it's 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 heavy duty you know heck yeah i love that so, so if, you, if you break if you break a uh a mic stand who has to pay for that uh, in, I, no one cares I, I think the clubs just you know you know I've, I've definitely broke my fair share of them i mean not intentionally but just you right. know swinging them around or whatever they just you know they break um with, <laughs> Because they have to be, they have to be a certain, you know. I'm tall as fuck, so, so it has to be a certain height. So that's what it is. It's like it puts stress on the, whatever. Oh, right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So once I, if so, I bring mine, it's like two pieces. You just screw it together. It's got a base. Click it into the base, and it's ready to go. Yeah. So how how tall is tall as fuck? How tall are you? <laughs> like four. Good for you. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm five feet tall. It's a lot different down here. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a whole new world. Um, <laughs> so obviously, Jay, uh, music can severely affect our mood. Like if we're having an off day, sometimes you can pop on your favorite song and it'll instantly change your day around. What yeah. song is that for you? It'll ch turn my day around? I, well, I'm um, trying to think. Some Probably Gesaffelstein stuff like that like i i love i love his music a lot like uh yeah that gets me hyped so if you know? uh would you Perfect. yeah along those same lines is there an artist that you haven't collaborated with that you would like to work with in the future that guy for sure this awful time would be a, that'd be a really sick collab. I think uh, be a lot of fun. I don't know if you know if his music or anything, but uh, he's fire. Like, he's really I'm good. Google it right now if I can spell that. Yeah, I was gonna say how do you spell E E S A F E L S T E I N. So got it. It's, it's yeah. Thing, yeah. But uh, he's really it. good. <laughs> yeah, like like since like 2011, he's just been fire really good i, I would awesome. say if you want to check out a really dope record from him uh alif a-l-e-p-h would be a good record hold on, and my google machine. Hold on google machine all right google machine has it perfect, perfect. Yeah. love it so uh <laughs> like i said you were the first album that i ever purchased uh but out of curiosity <laughs> Who has been like the craziest person or the mo most unique person that you found out was a fan of yours or orgy? Mm, uh, wow, tough one. Um, dude, I can't even think of one right now that I was that was like. Um, there's a, there's a couple. Uh, uh, who was I thinking uh, when you said that? Um, one of like one of those Sam Sheeran guys or something like that or uh, Sam Smith. I, I don't know. One of them was, and it, and it was just like, what? Really? <laughs> you would never. Well, Sam, I think it was Sam Smith or something. Or no, no, no. I know who it was. It was um, the guy who did that affection or tension song. What's his name? Charlie Puth or something like that. One of those guys. It was him or Sam Smith, and I yeah I don't know which. One. So if it wasn't you, it's the other one. Yeah. You know. Someone who you would never think uh would yeah. you know based based on their music wouldn't wouldn't be into yeah. orgy. And I and I was just informed of uh, today on another interview that um I guess uh the Shut Up and Drive Rihanna song, they sampled uh our version of Blue Monday, which was crazy. Um I don't wonder who gets paid for that because it wasn't wasn't me, just letting you know. But uh Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Should we like get Rihanna on the line real quick? Just yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's... yeah. 
I got it. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. That, that's interesting. Yeah, you got Miss Riri. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're each going to ask one more question, and then we have a game that we're going to play. So Milo, what you got? Uh, what was the best piece of advice that you received during your career? Um, that's a tough one. I mean, so much of it, you know, like, um, hmm, that's a tough one. Can we come back to that one? Let's come back to that one. By the way, Always wear your seatbelt on an airplane. Did, yeah, they, yeah. Did anybody see Eddie Murphy's uh, advice for a, a longevity in, uh, in the entertainment career the other night in the Golden Globes? No, I did not. All right. Well, I'm just going to say, um, Look up Eddie. Eddie Murphy gave some uh, really, really good sound advice. Um, uh, and I'm just going to let him tell you. That way it comes from him and it doesn't come from me. Okay. I, I, would, say, I would say kill the noise, actually. Like he, he's like, he just said something like, you know, um, you know, because he's really, really good. And I was at, you know, a show with him hanging out. And, and he goes, um, he said, you know, whoever stays in front of the computer, the longest wins. And I was just like, hmm, you know, I mean, not that I, you know, anybody loves to be trapped in front of the computer the whole time, but like, you know, I, I guess that's why he's so fucking good at what he does. But anyway, so yeah, he okay. told me that pretty cool. That's you fair. Know. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I guess my, my final question, like I wanted to ask the, the uh, desert Island question, but just, I guess I'll ask instead, do you remember the first record that that you ever picked up that inspired you to maybe want to be a musician? Mm, no, but if I was stranded on death, uh, like like on a desert, deserted island, probably uh, like Death from Above, nineteen seventy nine, or Gustavo Sign, something like that, would be like the um, music that I'd want to have with me. That's awesome. You know, yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Or maybe like well, I figured you were gonna say Sam Smith, Charlie Puth, and Rihanna, but yeah, right. <laughs> but like definitely like a like a you know, heavy you know Pantera, right? far far beyond driven, vulgar display of power, something like that would be cool. Now along those same lines, do you listen to your? Do you still continue to to listen to your to your own older music? No, no I, I I tried to not do that as much as possible. You know, you get used to playing it for so long, and you're just like, man, next, you know. But yeah. um, but you know, like certain songs still get me hyped from that era. You know, if I hear like break stuff from Limp Bizkit or something like that, like I I, I still love that shit. And uh, you know, old corn and Deftones and stuff like that, far beyond driven. Uh, I'm you know, like I was saying, and uh, what else? You know, around the fur, like you know, all that. Yeah. Well, even if you don't listen to your own music, that's what we're here for. Cause yeah, I still listen to it quite often. All right. So yeah. we have a game, Jay. This is a game of would you rather? There is no wrong answer. So whatever you pick is the correct answer. So we're going to bring up the graphic and here's the first one. So <laughs> it's funny. Here we go. Uh, would you rather perform with the first band you saw live or perform with the first musician whose album you bought? Um. Oh shit. Um. Shit. I don't know. Probably the probably the first uh mus musicians album who I, I, I bought instead of the first band I saw live. I mean, it, it would be like Iron Maiden or like some like David Bowie thing. So I would say Bowie Ooh. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right, Milo, you got the next one. Yep. Okay. Would you rather? Switch set list with corn for a day or with coal chamber for a day? Uh, I'd say corn for sure. Produce coal chamber, but corn for sure. Fair. And I feel like you could do a lot of really fun stuff vocally with corn because he does a lot of that. Boop, I can't even, I'm not gonna, yeah, I, letters, man. I just know that's my jam. <laughs> I, and you know it's fire so i, w I would l I'd love to do it not you know hey i had fun working with cold chamber too so you know but i love those guys but uh definitely the corn set awesome all right here's the next one would you rather Ooh, okay only be able to dress in attire from the 50s or only be able to dress in attire from the 70s <laughs> uh, well, I, i'd have to say uh, 
That's a tough one. Uh, there's some cool fashion in the 50s, but probably something in the 70s that wasn't bell bottoms. <laughs> you know. Okay, we're not bell bottoms fans here. Okay. No. Fair enough. I, get it. <laughs> I mean, I could rock the bell bottoms, but all right. Yeah. All right. Would you rather write or compose an album for a hit horror film or voice the main character in a Marvel series? Um, definitely a horror movie. Do you, uh, do you have a favorite horror series or horror film? Uh, I mean, I just saw Smile re recently. That was, that was cool. Um, I don't know. Like, uh, no, not really. There's, I like so many of them. So it's, it's too, it's too tough to name one that was like my ultimate favorite. I mean, The Exorcist was crazy. Exorcist 3 was pretty fucking nuts and no one even really knows about that. But that movie was, is, is like, you know, the, 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 the lyrical content or the, you know, the, the, the written, you know, like the script for that movie is pretty insane. And you were actually on, uh, on, on Valentine as well, which is an insane uh, album, insane soundtrack. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> the movie right. it was that good. Yeah. I didn't say uh, the I, movie was good. I said the soundtrack was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was going to say, Smile was so, so good. It was like one of those movies that I went into not knowing a lot about, and it was, it was really fantastic. Same. So yeah, smile is a great choice. All right. Here's the next yeah. one. Would you rather, and I apologize for this one, uh, have to perform after eating an extremely spicy meal or perform after having a Novocaine yeah. shot? Oh, uh, uh, I think both of those. I mean, I guess, uh, like, where would the Novocaine shot be? Like, that's, that's, oh. that would be the important question there. Um, either or is fine. I, I can go either way. Okay. I, I could do yeah. I could do either one. Like, like something that like you know screwed up your your you know talking or something like that you know I, I have to probably say the spicy meal thing would be fine good choice all right good choice all right we got would two you more rather uh produce an album with Einstein kills or produce an album with black veil brides oh uh, Black Phil Bryce, they're they're homies. So I would, say, but I do love Ice Nine Kills. They're fucking awesome. Um, yeah. But I'd go with the homies on that one. Awesome. All right. So this is the last one. You've made it to the end, and the final would you rather is would you rather? To be, I've yeah, already kind of worked on a production, a little bit of a production with um, Black Phil Bryce. So they're definitely they're they're really fun to work with and stuff. So Jake's a good. Good homie. So, awesome. All right. The so the final one. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Would you rather own a stage yeah. outfit that belonged to David Bowie or own a guitar that belonged to Prince? Yeah, David Bowie all day. Fair, very fair. But I do yeah. have to shout out. I love that Prince guitar. It is so fun and unique. I do but but yes, but like, okay, but no way. I mean, I love Prince. Like you know, I probably I probably listen to him more. But I would definitely say that David Bowie for sure. This is a hard one. I know. Do you have like a yeah, favorite the, David uh, Bowie like, era? Because I obviously this looks pretty what, Aladdin Sane. Uh, what, what's like your favorite Bowie era? Like uh, pretty much all of them. Uh, he's just so he's such an icon. Like he, he he's badass. Um, I mean, I you know I love Life on Mars, uh, Ashes to Ashes. Like and and you know the Ziggy Stardust thing was. It was a little too freedom rock for me, but I loved his like fashion sense, you know, throughout all of it. So um, I'd have to say, you know, the ashes to ashes kind of era, um, pretty much. Prince always from from the beginning to the, you know, the beginning was awesome. Yeah, oh, may they rest. Yeah. The greatest of yeah. all time. And to like bring everything full circle, there is a David Bowie musical. I want to say it's called like Lazarus or something. So there we go. There's a Broadway musical. Maybe you'll want to check out. It's very good. But that, all right. Yeah. Uh, Jay, thank you so much. This has been so much fun. Uh, before we do wrap it up, is there any final thoughts you want to leave us with here? 
No, thanks for having me, guys. And, uh, you know, hit me up on that voiceover thing for, uh, you know, the uh, the video game down. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll put all our, uh, our contacts out there for you. We'll talk. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. I'm, I, I do got to say, uh, back in 2001, I was supposed to see, uh, I can't believe 2001 is... 21 years ago but anyway i was supposed to see uh you guys uh in, in papa roach and then you guys got sick um and then uh ha- had to pull off the tour Are, is it any chance you can call up kobe and 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 do this tour so i can finally finally get retribution <laughs> and see this show I, I, you talk to them uh mostly about football because we're all like niner fans or whatever but i i, I do talk to those guys uh love those guys they're fucking they're, they're killing it always so they, they, they had a, there's like a big resurgence with the, with their kind of music uh that they've been doing lately which is awesome so heavy shit it's fucking great absolutely okay so you said you're a niners fan and i'm not going to pretend like i know about the sports like you and milo do mm-hmm. but who are you hoping to see in the super bowl I mean, definitely my Niners versus whoever. I don't really care, but uh, I definitely wish they would get there. You know, they need to win one. Sure. I mean, I, I think the Dolphins did okay this year, right? Let's go fins up. Is that they're what you say? The, I don't know. I'm not they're, they're the playoffs. <laughs> oh, we but, did it. Um, yeah. Is Don Shula still the coach? That's not still a thing. Okay. I, I know nothing. No, <laughs> Uh, so before we let you go, Jay, we're going to go over her upcoming guests that we have for January and start in February. So here we go. Uh, next Tuesday, we have Katie Babs from Sirius XM uh, Octane. She's incredible. We also have Jared Reddick from Bowling for Soup. We have Marco DeSantis from Sugar Cult. We also have Duncan Sheik and uh, David Josephsberg and so many more. But Jay, thank you so much. This is literally such an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for having me. And, uh, you know, have a good one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Buckle up, everybody. We'll see you guys real soon. Be safe.